All right, so as you know, After Effects doesn't have custom brushes or it cannot import brushes. And that's why we're gonna check out how to use the Paint Link plugin that enables Photoshop to migrate your scribbles with different brushes into After Effects. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description with the plugin. All right, so first we're gonna need to set up After Effects and Photoshop. So let's start with After Effects. I'm gonna go to the edit. Let's go to preferences and let's go down and select scripting and expressions. And here, make sure to check allow scripts to write files and access network. Click OK. And now I'm gonna go to Photoshop. Let's go to Edit and Preferences. Go all the way down and select Plugins. Here you're gonna need to check on Enable Remote Connections. And for the password, you're gonna need to type in the AE scripts. Also, let's go to the Tools and make sure to uncheck Animated Zoom. Click OK. And now let's go back to the Edit, select Color Settings. And here also we're gonna check the Ask When Opening and Ask When Pasting. Click OK and also restart Photoshop and After Effects just to make sure. Now let's go to After Effects, click on New Composition, and I'm gonna go with 1080p, 30 frames per second, and click OK. Drag and drop the video, and I'm gonna go and right click here, New, select Solid, rename it as Brush, click OK. And before starting it, we're gonna need to save the file. Let's go to File, Save S, Save S, and click on Save. Now let's go to the Effect, go all the way down to the AE Scripts, and select paint link. And I'm gonna need to split the screen in half. I'm gonna drag it up and I'm gonna select Photoshop. Let's go back to the paint link. Make sure that you selected the title here, paint link. And now let's go and click on add update keyframe. And take a look at that. It is going to import this one keyframe into Photoshop. You can see here we got a couple of layers going on, but we're gonna stick to the first one. And all you need to do is select your brush and right click. For example, I'm gonna go with this brush and I can start painting. Now this should update automatically here in After Effects, but for me, for some reason, it's not doing it. And as you can see here, you also got the render update delay. It's one second, but for me, somehow it takes quite a few seconds. But anyways, if you don't want to wait, for example, I'm gonna draw something more. All you need to do is just click again on add update keyframe. It's gonna load and it's gonna import it. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and let's go here to the plugins. And here we got the paint link and select frame control. So check this out with these settings, you can jump one frame ahead or two frames ahead. For slow videos like this, I only gonna jump one frame, click on it. And as you can see here, it jumped one frame and it's going to update. And you also can see the onion skin layer, which is a little bit more transparent with orange. You also can set this up here at the near opacity. For example, I'm gonna decrease it to 40% and it's gonna bring down the opacity. You also can change up the color, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. And I can go and draw another frame. Let's go and click on jump one frame again. And if I go back here, I'm gonna press the letter U, zoom out, and let's see what we got. You can see the first two keyframes and I'm gonna to need to add one more at the third keyframe. So let's go on and draw the third one. All right, so let's see what we got. We're gonna go back to After Effects. I'm gonna bring this back and you can see here the animation. So that's how you work with Paint Link here in Photoshop and After Effects. Seems like so far this is the best plugin which is up to date. And that's it. Thanks for watching.